Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Autosur Bits as every Wednesday. My name is Marco and last week we explained what the physical architecture is. Now we're going to focus on what Autosur is. This word Autosur has several dimensions, whether we're explaining or whether we're focusing on the consortium architecture or platform. We're going to uh, dive into these three dimensions and so let's get it started. First, the consortium. So this is uh, basically well known to many of us. The consortium is a worldwide development partnership of car manufacturers, suppliers, and other companies from the electronics, semiconductor, and software industry. These companies that are below here are the four partners. There are many other companies part of the consortium. And uh, what I want to explain here is the relationship between these companies. So at the first level, we have here the, the OEMs, the original equipment manufacturers, the companies that uh, we all know. And well, the job of, the, of them is to design the car, manufacture it, and also do the marketing. And after that, deliver it to the dealership. So once the car is specified, the components are also specified. These specifications are handed to the tier one companies. And what they do is to uh, design or uh, finish the design of these parts and then manufacture it and deliver it to the OEM. So uh, these companies also, these parts also need of components, which are then supplied by, for example, semiconductor companies. So this is the, the value chain, the automotive value chain or the traditional value chain. And uh, companies from all the levels are part of the consortium, which was created in 2003. And the first reference or the first publication from this consortium, the first one I have seen so far was done in 2004 on this paper, the Automotive Open System Architecture, an industry-wide initiative to manage the complexity of emerging automotive, electrical, and electronic architectures. I plan to do a deep dive into this paper I'm going to publish that video in the YouTube channel. So I'm going to put a link there in this, um, in the description of this video. So um, the goal of this consortium, the primary goal of the Autosar Development Partnership EASY is standardization of basic system functions and functional interfaces. I want to highlight that a standardization of basic system functions and functional interfaces. What does that mean? So first of all, a software, any software can be divided in two parts. The first one, the application, the software that allows user to do user-oriented tasks, and the system software, software designed to provide a platform for other software to, to run. Okay, to put it in an example here, we have for application, a word processor, an email client, an IDE. Here are some examples. And then we have the system software, for example, an OS, game engine, cloud service. Here are some other well known examples. And between them, we have what are what is called the APIs, the application programming interfaces, which let know the application of what services are provided by the system software. To put it in an automotive context now, we have applications such as adaptive course control, lane departure warning, those are the examples of applications that can be seen in the automotive context. And then Autosar is or will be covering 
then the system software as well as the functional interfaces. This is the value added of Autosar. Mm, those that are familiar with the VS specifications, the separation is done by the layered architecture. We have here now the separation between application and system software here, in this case, basic software. And this is basically the important or the major contribution of the classic platform is the separation between application and basic software. And with this separation, we are not able to standardize these layers. Hence, the motto of cooperate on the standards, compete on implementation. Once these layers are standardized, we can now specify them and then complete compete on implementation, whereas it is on the basic software level or in the application uh, level, layer level, which will be then the functions that are designed by the OEMs and tier ones. So uh, another part of the architecture is the logical architecture view, which is can be realized by the virtual functional bus. So we have the layered architecture, which is in the context of the ECU, and then the virtual functional bus, which is in the context of the logical architecture or system view. So next, platform. Why platform? Uh, we're gonna cover this in the context of the classic platform. We're gonna focus on that. Of course, we are well aware that the adaptive platform exists. So first of all, we're gonna explain the difference between architecture and platform. Architecture, as we have repeated in several of the videos, are the fundamental concepts or properties of a system in its environment, embodied in its elements, relationships, and in the principles of its design and evolution. Compare that to platform. A computing platform is the environment or stage in which a piece of software is executed. So the difference is that the architecture is a subset of the platform. Maybe in other words, the platform is the realization of the architecture. To put it in another, in another sense, the architecture is just a description of the platform. The classic platform uh, not only provides a reference architecture, it also provides a methodology that describes how to use the architecture when designing a system and also provides of middleware specifications, system software specifications that will cover the basic software layer. Okay, so I hope that explanation was clear. In the next week, we're gonna then cover the adaptive platform, the motivation of it, what is it for, and whether it is pointless or not to compare it to this classic platform. So in case you like these videos, please subscribe to the hashtag here or just connect uh, with me. And that of course will make me very, very happy. So hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care and bye-bye.